Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are going to be building something brand new today. It is going to be designed around the V2 rocket, but it is going to be a cluster bomb version of it, which is uh, kind of crazy. We're going to make it look a little bit like a V2, but we'll see what happens. So we're doing it on the uh, the crea creative base, uh, because I figured this would be a nice launch platform. I don't know whether we're going to be building like a thing to be able to like move it from being like horizontal to be vertical or we're just going to build it vertically i think we'll build it vertically first anyway let's just go ahead and jump into the workbench and get this thing built okie dokie so uh this thing actually needs enough thrust to be able to go like actually quite far i'm not entirely sure how i want to be able to do that but let's go ahead and uh, figure that out shall we so Rocket. Uh, we're going to go with Rocket. Yes. Okay. And I think we're going to go with the Medium Booster is is probably what we want. So the Medium Booster going on the bottom of here, just like so. And yeah, I think that'll be, that'll be about right. From there, we're going to go upwards using these guys. And uh, we will only build it on on one side uh, for right now. So we're going to do that right there. We're then obviously going to do this right here and this right here and also that right there. I know that looks pretty weird uh, as of right now, but we're going to continue with it anyway uh, because we should. So keep dragging this up. Excellent. Go ahead and drag this up from here, but the other way around, obviously. So like this. Excellent. And put that right there. Very nice. Okay, so this is this is a good start, I suppose. Uh, we're then going to have our stabilizers and etc. <laughs> our stabilizers and etc. on the sides of here uh, because, of course, that makes sense. Uh, so these are going to go out just like so. And that does make a lot of sense. We're going to delete the ones that aren't necessary, uh, which is actually quite a lot of these. There you go. And a lot of these as well. There we go. So that is a that is actually a brilliant start. With that being said, we're actually going to go down um, a little bit more. We're going to use these guys to do it. There we go. Excellent. We're going to use these guys as well right here. And the same on this side as well uh, to make it go down on all sides. Yeah, okay. So we should be able to do this. Uh, we'll have a, um, probably a rudder right there controlling that side. We'll then do the same thing right here as well. Have a rudder right there. And the same thing right here as well. And have a rudder right there. Excellent. So we just got to delete these and actually put some rudders in. And then we'll be good to go. So we've deleted it on every side. Let's get a rudder. And just smack it in, I guess? I don't know. So one is going to be your. And one is going to be... Um, I guess we'll put the roll control on the inside. I think that'll be fine. But this one's going to be your, presumably. There you go. So we want that to be the same on both sides. We then want these guys to be opposite to each other. So we're going to put this right here like this. And then spin it around. Put it right there. And that'll be fine. That's pretty cool. I like it. Uh, we're also, realistically, I actually want that to come further down. Uh, to look a little bit nicer. So maybe we will delete these and put that there instead. Which I don't know about. Whether, whether we should be doing this or not. But... I think so, you know. I think we should. So, realistically, this would go... Delete that and that. Put that right there, but opposite, which is fine. We've done it. Uh, and then we're going to just go ahead and attach this. Uh, oh, I guess onto here like this. We'll actually do it differently. So, we'll put this here and here. Okay. And we'll put one of these guys right there like that. Yeah, I think that works. I think that looks pretty sick, to be honest. So, put this here and here. Excellent. Put this piece on. And... Yeah, I think that'll look better, to be honest. So delete these guys, move them inwards, and go from there. Oh, this is sick. This is very cool. Uh, delete this one, and these ones, obviously. Put that right there. Excellent. Uh, fill this in with this. Fill that in with that. Grab one of these guys. Put it directly on the key, like so. Oh, really? I didn't do it there. There we go. Put it under there, like so. Excellent. And on this side, just the same way. Put that there. Grab one of these. One of these. Put it on there, like so. Fill that little bit in, uh, if we can. One and two. And there we go. Oh, this is a good start, to be honest. I like it. All right, so then we need it to actually go up by quite a bit. So we're going to go up about how many this is. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, six seems like a good amount of uh, numbers. Good amount of numbers. There we go. Excellent. So six brings it all up to there. That does mean that this all needs to attach together like this. However... I don't know whether we want it to look like that or not. So let's do it and see what it looks like. I'm sure we can make it look better, actually. Delete all of those. We're going to put these in instead. Right across there. 
Then we're going to go from here upwards. And that should be a lot better. There we go. Yeah. It makes it a little bit more square at the top. But I think that's okay. So put that there. Yeah, this is looking sick. This is looking really cool. Alright, so from there, we're actually going to go ahead and send it up a little bit more. Probably like that much more. Yeah, that's pretty crazy, but we're going to go with it. We're then going to grab these guys and send that across there. And we're going to grab this from here up to there. That is excellent. With that being said, we're now going to delete these guys all the way down there. And we're going to bring this up to about here. And we're going to have it continue down from there instead. Which should be sick. Yeah, that is going to be really cool. So delete this. Have this piece going here. And we're going to do that. And then we're going to build all of this in. And hopefully it'll look pretty good. Yeah, that looks better. That looks way better. So we're going to delete this on this side. And all of this on this side. In fact, we're just going to copy and paste this side onto there. So it doesn't really matter. Um, but realistically, we do need to finish this bit off. So go to here. Drag it down to. There we go. Good. Grab one of these. Go from there downwards. Outwards. There we go. Excellent. Two maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, yeah, okay, so from there downwards, and then we attach all of that on. So delete this, this, and fix all that together, fix all of this together, and there we go. That looks sick, looks cool. Alright, so then from the top, we're going to go ahead and do this, uh, so that it all actually attaches together. We're going to have to do that to there as well, obviously, and then same on this side, so it's going to have to be like this. Uh, which makes it very flat, but that's okay for right now. We're then going to get to this point, which is the point where it now starts to bend inwards. And honestly, that's really cool. The top one is going to be a 1x2, because I think that makes sense. So we're going to do this, and that'll be fine. Alright, good. Put that there. Oh yeah. Put this in here as well, obviously. Put this in here. And yeah, we get ourselves a little rocket. <laughs> Doesn't look quite like a V2, but it looks like a rocket, so I think I'm happy with that. We're then going to put the side pieces on, because of course it needs them. Uh, we're gonna do this one as well, obviously, right there, and we're gonna fill in the top piece. Yeah, this looks sick. This looks really, really cool. So, yeah, now all we need to do is grab it from one side, which is probably here, all the way to there, all the way to the edges down there, and this side also, and this side. We're gonna then cut it, or copy it, turn it around, paste it in right here like this, merge it in, and there we go, we have ourselves a rocket. Awesome. With that being said, uh, I kind of actually want to grab some of these, delete all of that, there we go, and we can actually put these on both sides. So that's going to go there like this, this is going to do the opposite, and we can actually do the same thing right here. Uh, it'll just give us a little bit more control, and obviously that's a good thing. So there we go, that looks amazing. We're going to paint it like a V2 as well, because I feel like it, so let me quickly do that. When I say paint it like a V2, actually, uh, I'm not entirely sure what a normal V2 would look like. So we're just going to add a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And uh, hopefully that'll look good. So do this right here. We'll do it all the way to there. Excellent. We're then going to do uh, this side. No, actually, we're going to do this. There we go. But only on this side. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. So all the way up to there and all the way back down. Yeah, and we're actually going to go ahead and paint this bit in too. There we go. Pretty interesting, but kind of like it. There we go. Okay, awesome. Uh, we're going to do all of this as well. Yes. And we're also going to paint all of this in. Yeah. Whether that works properly or not, I'm not sure. But I think we're good. So there you go. Uh, we're then going to do this piece too, obviously. Uh, and we're going to keep it going. Round and around and around. And hopefully that looks good in the end. I'm not entirely sure it will, but we'll see. We'll do this piece as well. There we go, and have I done the wrong side? No, so it's actually this side of this. Here we go. And honestly, once this is done, it should look sick. Should look really cool. There we go, do all of that down to there. All of that there. Do all of this piece all the way up to here. And there we go. It looks a bit weird, but I kind of like it. So where that one ends, on this side, we're now going to do this upwards. Probably to the tip of this. Here we go, excellent. Very cool indeedy. We're then going to go to the other side and do the same thing. Right here. Very nice. And yeah, this looks really cool. There you go. Get rid of that one. Um, it's looking a bit weird, but I like it. And there we go. What do you guys think of that? I honestly think it looks pretty good. Uh, I kind of like it. So we're just going to go ahead and spawn it in real quick. Let's move it down so it's on the ground. Oh, that is actually on the ground. 
Uh, yeah, okay. Imagine that flying towards you. Bit scary, isn't it? A little bit scary. All right, so what I'm thinking is that the actual thing itself will be a bomb. So we're going to go ahead and put a warhead directly in the uh, the top. Uh, that's just going to look like this, and that'll be fine. It's literally just one tiny warhead. That'll be fine. We're then going to go ahead and seal this off a tiny bit. Oh, I guess we can't. All right, actually, delete that warhead. Bring it up to there, and we'll have a warhead actually in the top. Like, legitimately, just like stuck here. I think that'll be fine. Yeah. We're now going to paint this around the edges so that it looks right, I guess. So I'll paint that there, paint it here, and paint it here. There we go, excellent. And I honestly think that'll be good. Yeah. So with that being said, we're now going to go ahead and copy some other bits of this. Because it needs to be able to detach mid-air in order to actually deploy the cluster. If that makes any sense. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, do that. We're going to go ahead and just cut this off. All right, move it over to the side real quick. All right, now we need to split this into pieces so that we can somehow get this to work. So cut it in half to begin with. Uh, cut it right there. Yep. Okie dokie. Oh, I've managed to accidentally get these pieces, but that's okay. So we're going to go ahead and put that there. We then need that to be cut in half yet again. So we turn it. We bring it this way. And we do this. So we cut this here. And we move that out as well. And there we go. So now it's been cut into a bunch of pieces. That's all good. We're going to delete that piece and delete this piece real quick. And we're just going to do that. There we go. Okay, and this. Okay, excellent. So we've cut it into pieces. These all essentially need to fall off um, when it gets to its target. And I'm not entirely sure how to do that yet, but we're going to try. Oh, side note as well, actually, uh, we got a little bit of a problem here because we actually need some some fuel um, for the rocket. I didn't actually put any fuel in yet, so that needs to happen. So medium uh, is what we were using. We're going to do that all the way up to like there, I guess. Yep, that's good. Uh, and we're going to have it be like a slow burn rate, actually. So like 50% burn rate. It's going to fly quite slowly, but that's okay. All right, good. Grab one of these. We need to... Put this back on here. Uh, kind of like this. Yeah, that works. So put that there. Excellent. We're going to get rid of uh, the paint on one side of it. Right there and right there. Excellent. So now we need to figure out how to put the bombs in this and how we want them to actually disperse and stuff. So I want these to actually just come off um, mid-flight, kind of. So how do we go about doing that? Question mark. I don't know. Maybe... Hmm, how do we want to do it? How do we want to do it? Maybe we actually just put some, like, connectors onto these, and that'll just work? I'm not sure. Okay, so the way I see it, actually, uh, detaching this side, maybe just as, like, two, so, like, this detaches off this side, and that detaches off that side, uh, probably actually makes more sense. With that being said, though, uh, I kind of want to put all the middle pieces in, and just allow these to do what they want to do. Um, we need to figure that out though, so they'll need their own- Oh, I've got an idea! Right, okay. Let's go ahead and grab this real quick. Uh, this one right here, all the way down to there. Go ahead and cut it, and move it back into position. Okay, so we're gonna put that back there. It's gonna be merged in, and that will be fine. Okay, merge that in with that. We're then gonna do the same thing with this piece. Okay, this bit right here. Uh, and hopefully this will work too, so cut this. Move it into position. Yes! And put it there. There we go. Excellent. So merge this in as well. So now we just need all four sides to actually be able to split off. How do we go about doing that? Well, we get ourselves a hard point and we just go ahead and have them force themselves off after a set amount of time or, or whatever. So yeah, this will go here like this. All right, and we'll do it like this and every one of them. So there you go, that there. We're then going to continue it that way around, and we're going to put this one right here. So they're all going to split off like that. That makes sense. We now need to fit hard points to the inside of all of these. So we need one of these uh, on every single one of those. So let's put these back into position, and we'll start adding these pieces on, and hopefully that'll be good, maybe. And there we go. They're all actually on there. Hopefully they're all part of different things. They are indeed, which is excellent. We now need to just attach these guys, uh, these hard points, to each one of these. There you go. So one there. Uh, one there, obviously, and one here, and obviously one here as well. Excellent. So now, they're all attached on, but whenever we want them to fire off, they will. Which is, um, excellent. That works, 
I think. We now just need to fill this thing with bombs, and then we'll go from there. That seems pretty ridiculous, but I guess if that's what we've got, that's what we've got. All right, we're going to fill all of this in so the bombs don't slide down the sides. There you go. And we just need to paste a bunch of bombs in here, and then we'll go from there. We'll have them all be loose as well. That might be pretty crazy, but yeah, we'll have them all be loose. I actually need to do a quick test. Uh, how am I going to do it, though? How am I going to do a test? All right, let's save this as... V2 cluster. Uh, yep, yeah, V2 cluster. There we go. We're gonna go with that. Obviously, this is a bit small for a V2 as well. It's actually really small, but we're gonna we're gonna do this as an experimental one, so that'll be fine. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and quickly start a new vehicle. Okay, I need to try something. So let's do this real quick. Yep. Do a line out there. Line out there. Yep. In fact, do this on. Oh, I was gonna say on both sides. What am I doing? Right, so we're doing a line here. We're doing a line here. Excellent. And we'll do a line right here real quick. There you go. Okay, so lower this down. We're doing an experiment. Okay, so we're going to bring this up uh, all the way to wherever we can reach. There you go. Bring this across here. And we need to do a line right there, which is fine. Okay, so warheads. We need to attach a warhead to here. Uh-huh. And we're going to do, like, loads of them. Okay. Okay, if I get a button. And I do this right here. Excellent. And uh, Actually, probably at the bottom. That's fine. And we go ahead and we actually attach all of these together to this button. Um, oh, wow, that's a lot. That is a lot of warheads. That is a hell of a lot of warheads. I don't know what my test, what my experiment is here, but essentially, I need these to explode when I want them to explode, but they're all going to be separate entities. So, how is that going to work? Question mark. I'm not sure. So, let's go ahead and just make some separate entities real quick. Alright, so grab this. Cut it. Paste it. Alright, and then we'll paste it here. Oh no. I need to reattach all of these. That's super annoying. But anyway, we'll do all of these. That's fine. There you go. Okay, we don't need to do all of them. It's not that much of an experiment, but here we go. So attach this under here, 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 and here, and here. Go ahead and spawn it in. Okay, so they're not going to explode straight away. All right. Press this button. What happens? No electricity. Nothing happens. All right, ready? Okay, so all of those ones exploded, none of these ones exploded. So they have to have their own little, uh, their own little charge that actually allows them to explode. That's crazy. Uh-oh. Okay, so they're all actually going to be armed uh, when we do this, uh, which might be a little bit insane, but we're going to go for it. So that's going to go there. Uh, we're then going to attach a warhead directly onto it. So it's going to be one of, not these, but one of these. So that's going to go onto there like that. We're going to delete this. We're going to get ourselves a number. No, an on signal. That's what I want. On signal. On signal. Yep, one of these. Go ahead and attach that onto there. And whack that straight into there. Now, this is going to be more like 30. So it doesn't explode on takeoff. Hopefully, that's okay. So grab this and this. Go ahead and cut it. Flip it up. All right, delete this one on this side. And move it in. Oh, yeah. Alright, it's gonna be crazy. So we're, we're legit, legit gonna just fill this up. So put that there. And there. I should have checked if the rocket worked first before doing this, but never mind. So all of this goes in. There you go. We're gonna do it all the way around the outside. Then we're gonna do it on the inside also. There's gonna be so many of these. It's gonna be ridiculous. There you go. That's gonna go there. And there. Okay. There's a better way of doing this, probably. In fact, there is definitely a better way of doing this. But we're going to try our best to uh, make a rudimentary cluster bomb. <laughs> this is like the worst idea in the world, but we're trying it. So that goes there, there and there. Paste this one. Continue it. There you go. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to fill this up full of uh, bombs. And then I'll be back with you guys uh, once I've finished. Okie dokie. So currently this thing is now full of bombs. That took me ages to actually do, but it is it is now full of bombs. So that's good. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and get rid of this real quick and paint this little section in like so. 
Uh, we're also actually going to go ahead and paint all of these uh, fins this color, purely because I like it. So there you go. Uh, they're all going to be that color, even the bases. There we go. Excellent. And that's fine. With that being said, we're also going to paint this in and those pieces. Okay. Same with this one and this one. And there we go. Right. So now we need to test a few things. We need uh, a button in order to actually test if the thing will launch. We also need a button to actually test if... Can we have like a delay? Yeah, we're going to put a delay on it real quick. And we're going to see if we can delay these things actually opening up and seeing if the bombs will fall out. So this is pretty crazy. But uh, that's essentially going to go to here. This is going to go to launch uh, on each one of these. So where is it? Wait, have I accidentally deleted them? I'm confused. Release. Launch. So this needs to go to there. Oh, wait. I did this wrong. Okay, hang on. So this goes to here also. Then this goes to launch on that one. Launch on this one. Launch on this one. And launch on... Uh, this one. I don't know why that one's upside down, but there you go. And then we also want this to go to... No! The other way around! Oh, the other way around. Okay, launch, 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 and, uh, launch. Okay, so that's the other way around. Then we want this to go to here, so that it actually launches. And then we'll go from there. Okay, is this gonna work, or is it gonna explode straight away? I think it's gonna explode straight away, but we'll see. So, let's save this as V2 cluster... 1.1. Uh, one. We're just going to go 1. There you go. Okay. Let's take it outside. We'll spawn it in and we'll see if it works. All right. There it is, guys. There it is. All right. What do you guys think is going to happen? Let's just let's just do it. Here we go. Launch. That's gone. Oh, we didn't put an actual delay on it, but I'm so dead. <laughs> oh, they didn't explode. There's not enough power be behind them. Oh, no. What about those ones? We need to lower the uh, threshold. But, I mean, the cluster worked. They are separated by quite a distance. They're all... Oh. <laughs> oh. It just disappears once the thing disappears. Okay, right. So, where did it go? No, it, it's actually disappeared. Oh, no. it's a, it's a, a It was a mission. Anyway, we need to actually put a delay on it. And then once we've got a delay on it, it should work. All right, here we go. So, put a delay on it over a few seconds. All right. I'm going to have to go through literally every single one of these and change this down to more like 20 instead. So it might take me some time, but I'm going to have to go through all of these and lower them down to 20. So I'll be back in a second. All right, so that's all of those actually done. There we go. We've uh, gone ahead and put this at 2.5, but we'll actually put it at 5 seconds. And uh, we'll actually put a seat on it <laughs> uh, as well, just so that we can go up with it and check what's actually happening. So let's save this as V2 cluster 1. There we go. Let's go ahead and spawn it in again. And this time, this time it should be good. So V2 cluster 1. Go ahead and spawn it. There we go. We get our little seat on there. We're going to go ahead and sit in it and see what happens. Let's just, let's just go. Ready? Okay, go. Okay, so we've gone up with it. It has changed course by accident, but that's okay. It's opened up. The bombs are falling out very slowly. <laughs> very, very slowly. And it also changes the course of the actual vehicle when this happens. So that's a bit of an issue. Maybe the bottom needs to fall off. Maybe that's actually... Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. Okay, hang on. Did any of them actually explode? I'm not sure any of them actually exploded. But now we're on our way back down. <laughs> Maybe the sides need to fall off as well. Maybe that is something that needs to happen. I guess we could do that. We can do that, actually. Yeah. Uh, where are we going? So we're falling out of the sky. I don't know whether any of them exploded. That's a problem. That is a big old problem. I don't see where the ones are above me, either. Right, okay, hang on. So grab this. Yeah, return it back. Let's actually just launch it uh, as we did before. We won't actually jump in it. We'll just let it go. Uh, and it'll detach straight away. So here it goes. Into the sky. The bombs all fall over, so that's why that happened. But then as soon as it drops, we'll see what the first bombs actually do. So here's some of them. Please explode. Please explode. Are they gonna? Oh, 
No! My threshold's wrong again. I have to go through all of them and fix that. That's annoying. All right, so how do we go about fixing the issues that we now have? Uh, well, I have an idea. So we actually just go ahead and cut this off. Uh, all the way down the side to, like, there, I guess. Yeah, sure. We're going to go ahead and bring this this way. And we're just going to go ahead and cut this real quick. Paste it back on. We're going to merge this with this side. Okay, so that's how it's going to work. We're going to do that all the way around. And hopefully this will allow it to detach better. And also spread the bombs better. All right, so it's going to change a little bit this time. Let's see what happens now. Let's go. So jump in. Let's go ahead and launch it. And in five seconds, four, three, two, one. They all detach. All the sides fall off. The fact that we have such a powerful engine pushing us forwards is a bit of a bad thing. But uh, do we have any explodies? I don't know whether we have any explodies. Maybe we need this thing to actually spin once that's launched. Maybe. Oh. <laughs> they all get launched out at the end. But that's not good enough. That's not really good enough. However, I suppose that is good enough if we're traveling towards a target. And the sides only open up once we get there. Yeah, no, that makes more sense, actually. That does make more sense. All right, so instead of going with it this time, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and launch it straight away. There it goes. And it always goes in that direction, which is pretty weird. But there you go. As soon as it opens up, there we go. All the bombs fall out. Or a lot of the bombs fall out. We now need to see if any of these explode. Any of them. That one did. <laughs> one. One bomb exploded. That's it. Literally just one bomb. Okay. We're going to make the threshold something like 13 on all of the bombs. And then we're going to go from there. Hopefully, that'll allow it to work way better. All right. So, I've changed this quite a bit. Let's go ahead and just launch it and see what happens from here. Ready? Go! All right. So, it's gone straight up into the sky because I've turned the wind off. Uh, it should scatter right now. And the bombs should come out. There we go. Excellent. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Okay, I might have exploded some of the bombs midair. That might be a bit of an issue. We might have to make the tolerance a little bit bigger than it is currently. However, uh, all of the bombs are now falling. Or oh, not all of them, but a lot of them. And this should be a pretty spectacular sight once it lands. So, three, two, one. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that. Yep. Yeah. More are still landing. Yep. Yeah, very nice. Very nice indeedy. Wait, some of these didn't actually explode. This one isn't exploded, I don't think. Or maybe it is. I don't know. Uh, that was good. That was that was a good launch. We're now going to get on the missile, the rocket, and see what happens from there. I'm going to put infinite health on as well, just in case. All right, everybody ready to go? Let's launch. Yeah. All right, cool. So we're looking good so far. In three, two, one, it's going to open. There we go. The bombs in the middle do seem to be sort of stuck there. Which is a little bit annoying, but that's okay. Yeah, okay. I might make the burn rate slower as well. We don't actually have that much fuel, but um, yeah, I mean, it works. They slow... Yeah, okay, so I was wondering what blew it up. It's actually the end bit where it runs out of fuel. Uh, the bombs at the bottom actually get pushed forwards, and they explode off the front end. That makes sense. Okay, I get it. You know what? I might actually have those bits separate as well, but for right now, we're just going to go ahead and lower this speed down to about 20% instead. It should still lift it, which should be awesome, uh, and we're going to go from there. Also, the other thing that I might do as well is actually separate the top out onto the side pieces that get ejected so that there is no top piece actually left at the end. Uh, that does make sense. Anyway, let's go ahead and fire it. Here we go. Okay, yeah. Oh, slow burn rate. Yep, that is slow. Okay, bits fall off the side. We then turn to the side. It should get quicker as it goes sideways. That's pretty good. Uh, yeah, there we go. They're all falling off. And they are all exploding. Okay, so one thing that I want to mention before we do actually end this. Uh, I want to say that this won't actually be how it works, if that makes sense. I wanted to test that it does actually drop them. It does. Uh, I also wanted to test if it flew. It does. And I also wanted to test if the sides fell off. And they do. We now need to actually put an actual tracking system in here, a GPS system, so that it flies to a target, and then once it gets very close to the target, um, it opens up, and then the bombs drop, if that makes sense. I don't know how to calculate that just yet, but we will try and figure that out. But the slow burn rate definitely works. I am very happy with this. It's very cool. It is very, very cool. 
So let's launch it again and um, see what happens. Here we go. I'm not going to get on board this time. Also, the time of day has actually been changing this whole time. All right, there it goes. It's going to deploy them just there. And... Oh, it gets faster as well once uh, the bombs drop, obviously. But they won't be dropping until the end. So that doesn't really work out for us. Anyway. Yeah, nice. All right, that's sick. That is sick. Very, very nice. More bombs will probably be dropping from the sky. There they are. Okay, awesome. So we've built something that works. Uh, we now need to put a GPS system into it so that it actually flies to a target. And then it'll detach once it gets close. Okay, yeah. I think I'm happy with this. I think I'm very happy with this. Um, anyway, for now, I'm going to go ahead and say thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.